drugstore beetles are one of several common pantry pests that many households will deal with. These beetles get their name because historically, they were known to infest products sitting on drugstore shelves, but are now known to attack stored food products. Large infestations of drugstore beetles can potentially cause hundreds of dollars in food damage. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat drugstore beetles so your pantry can stay free of these pests. To shop for the products featured in this video and learn even more about drugstore beetle control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Drugstore beetles are small insects that grow to be about 2 to 3.5 millimeters in length. Their rounded, cylindrical bodies are dark brown in color, and like most beetles, they have elytra that protect their wings when they're at rest. Drugstore beetles look very similar to another pantry pest, the cigarette beetle. These two insects look nearly identical since they're both so small. One way to distinguish between the two is to look at their antennae. Drugstore beetles have three large clubs at the end of their antennae, while cigarette beetles have smaller, saw-like segments on their antennae. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. To confirm drugstore beetle activity, look in and around your pantry or where packaged foods are stored. You may see a few beetles wandering the shelves, but focus on finding the source of your infestation. Commonly infested foods tend to be grains and flour packed in paper or cellophane, or other grain products like cookies or pet food. Be sure to also check any drawers and shelving for cracks and crevices drugstore beetles can hide in. Take note of which foods are infested and where you've seen the beetles, and you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pests and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before starting your treatment, you need to clear out your pantry. Start by throwing out boxed and bagged foodstuffs. That may sound excessive, but if you found at least one infested package, odds are there are drugstore beetles in all of your other packaged foods. Drugstore beetles can chew through packaging materials like cardboard or cellophane easily. This will allow them to spread throughout an entire pantry. Once those foods are tossed, proceed to remove and set aside everything else. Next, vacuum all cracks and crevices in your pantry shelving. If your shelving is adjustable, clean out the peg holes with a toothpick and vacuum. Small pantry pests may be found in these tight spaces as they travel from place to place. Be sure to also throw out your vacuum's bag or clean the canister when you're done. Wipe down the pantry shelves with water to clean up any food residue. Don't use any strong cleaners or bleach, as these will keep pests away from the pesticides you'll soon apply. Once you've cleared and cleaned out your pantry, you'll need to use insecticides labeled to treat drugstore beetles like Pirate Aerosol Insecticide and Flex 1010. Pirate is an insecticide aerosol that's often used as a flushing agent, and it's great to treat cracks and crevices where drugstore beetles or other pests may be hiding for a quick kill. To use Pirate as a crack and crevice treatment, just remove the white applicator, attach the provided red applicator, and make sure the straw is firmly affixed in the spout. Shake the can and spray along the lengths of any cracks and crevices in your pantry where drugstore beetles could be hiding. When treating cracks and crevices, you just want to spray in quick bursts, usually about one second of spray per foot. Pyrid does not leave a residual, but it's an excellent contact spray with a powerful knockdown and quick kill. Next, apply Flex 1010. Flex 1010 is a liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to treat drugstore beetles and many other insects. Flex 1010 also has a residual of up to 30 days, which will ensure straggling pests and future infestations are kept under control. We recommend using a hand pump sprayer since you'll be making an indoor application. We recommend you use a rate of 3.2 fluid ounces of Flex 1010 per gallon of water. To use a pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Flex 1010. Then add the remaining half gallon, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a couple times to produce a low pressure spray. Spray along the cracks and crevices in your pantry, typically where the shelves meet the walls and where you've seen drugstore beetle activity. With both products, you'll be able to kill any drugstore beetles you've spotted and protect your pantry against stragglers or future potential infestations. Be sure to only spray these products in an empty pantry and allow your treatments to dry before you restock your shelves. Prevention is essential in keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen again. While Flex 1010's residual will protect your pantry for up to 30 days, employ these other tips to prevent infestations in the future. If you can, buy only about a week or two's worth of food at a time. 
Try not to overstock your pantry shelves because the longer something sits there, the more likely a potential infestation could break out. When buying dry foods at the grocery store, take a look at the packaging. If you can see the product, try to look for any drugstore beetles or other pests. If you see any holes, rips, tears, or other openings, that's an obvious indicator to pass that item up. Also, if you can see pinhead-sized holes in the product itself, that's an indicator of drugstore beetle infestation. And when storing food, it's best to keep it in tight-fitting or sealed containers. Put cereals, rice, and flour in containers that can be air-sealed. Even plastic Tupperware can help. This is especially true for dry pet food. Pet food and bird seed are often overlooked and extremely conducive for pantry pests, so it's important to store your pet food in a sealed container. Drugstore beetles are small, yet destructive pantry pests that can cost hundreds in food damage, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pests and Lawn, you can stop drugstore beetles from infesting your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.